in this question, one of the factors, we've got the x plus 2, is squared. So we've got x plus 1 and x plus 2 squared in the denominator. When we're splitting this into partial fractions, we're going to have a over x plus 1. We could have an x plus 2 in the denominator. And we could have an x plus 2 squared. The reason behind this is, if we added these three fractions together, the common denominator will be x plus 1 and x plus 2 squared. We might not have a b term, so we might just have the a and the c. But because we could have a b term, because these three fractions have got this common denominator, we have to include it. When we solve it, when we split it into partial fractions, we follow the same steps. So we're going to multiply through by the denominator first, which will give us 4x squared plus 16x plus 15 on the left side. If we multiply by x plus 1, that will cancel from a, and we'll just be left with x plus 2 squared. For b, one of the x plus 2s is going to cancel the denominator, so we're going to have x plus 1 and x plus 2. And for C, the x plus 2 squared will cancel the denominator, which will leave us with x plus 1. So if we want to get rid of the first bracket, we let x equal negative 1, because that will make that bracket equal to 0. So that will be 4 times negative 1 squared, plus 16 negative 1s, plus 15, equals a times negative 1 plus 2 squared, and the b will cancel, and the c will cancel. So what's that leave us with? We've got 4 plus 15 is 19, take away 16 is 3, and we've got a times 1 squared, which is 1, so a is 3. If we want to get rid of the second bracket, we say let x equal negative 2. So we have 4 times negative 2 squared plus 16 negative 2s plus 15. A will cancel, B will cancel, so we have C and we'll have negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 squared is 4, so 4 4s are 16, plus 15 is 31, take away 32 negative 1, and that equals negative 1c, negative c, so c is 1. Now we haven't got anything else we can substitute in to eliminate a bracket, so we're going to just let x equal 0. We could pick any number, 0 is just the easiest one, because it will give us the easiest numbers to work with. So... 0 plus 0 plus 15 is 15. A is 3 times 2 squared. B, we don't know, times 1 times 2. And C is 1 times by 1, if x equals 0. So that means 15 equals 12 plus 2b plus 1. So 15 is 13 plus 2b. We take away 13 from both sides, so 2 equals 2b, and b is 1. So we have 3 over x plus 1, plus 1 over x plus 2, plus 1 over x plus 2 squared. Okay, here's another example. So again, we've got a squared term in the denominator. So that means we're going to have a over x minus 1. We could have a b term over x plus 3. And a c term over x plus 3 squared. So we're going to multiply it through by the denominator. So that will give us 2x squared plus 11x plus 19 equals a 
times x plus 3 squared plus b times x minus 1 and x plus 3 plus c times x minus 1. So if we want to eliminate the b and c terms, we can let x equal 1 and get rid of the x minus 1 bracket. So let x equal 1. So that would be 2 times 1 squared plus 11 ones plus 19 equals a times 1 plus 3 squared. And the b and c terms are going to be gone. So that's 2 plus 11, 13, plus 19, 32, equals a times 4 squared, so 16a, so a is 2. Then we can eliminate the second bracket by substituting in x is negative 3. So if we do that, we'll have 2 times negative 3 squared plus 11 negative 3s plus 19 equals, so the A term's gone, the B term's gone, so we've just got C negative 3 neg minus 1. So what we got here, we've got 2 negative 3 squared, so 2 9s is 18, take away 33 plus 19. So 18 plus 19 is 37, take 33, which is 4, and we've got minus 4c, so c is negative 1. Again, there's nothing we can substitute in that will isolate the b term, so we'll just pick any number, and the easiest one will be 0. So let x equal 0 this time. So 19, a is 2, times 3 squared, we don't know b, it'd be times negative 1 times 3, and c is negative 1 times negative 1. So that's 19 equals 18 minus 3b plus 1. So 19 equals 19 minus 3b. So 0 equals 0 equals negative 3b. So b is actually 0. So there is no fraction over x plus 3. We've just got a over x minus 1. So 2 over x minus 1. And we've got take away 1 over x plus 3 squared. And again, we could check our answer by adding them back together and making sure we get what we started with. Okay, here's two questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and then press play again when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, so the first one, we're going to have a over x plus 3, b over x minus 1, and c over x minus 1 squared. Multiply through by the denominator, x squared minus 3x minus 2 equals a times x minus 1 squared plus b times x plus 3 and x minus 1 and c times x plus 3 and that's it. To get rid of the first bracket, I'm going to let x equal negative 3. So negative 3 squared, take away 3 negative 3s, minus 2, equals a times negative 3 minus 1 squared. So here we've got 9 plus 9 minus 2, so that's 16. And we've got negative 4 squared, so 16, a. So a is 1, and now we're going to let x equal 1. So we've got 1 squared 
minus three ones minus two. The A bracket's gone, the B term's gone, so we've got C one plus three. So we've got one minus three minus two, so minus four equals four C. So C is negative one. And then to find the B term, we're going to let X equals zero. So I'll squeeze that in over here. Let X equals zero. So that would be zero minus zero minus two. A is one times minus one squared. B times three times negative one. And C times three. So negative two equals one minus three B minus three. Negative two equals negative two minus three B. Zero equals minus three B. So B is zero. So our answer is one over X plus three no b term and minus 1 over x minus 1 squared. Okay, question 2. So we're going to have a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 1 plus c over x plus 1 squared. We're going to multiply through by the denominator. 5x squared plus 5x plus 2 equals a times x plus 1 squared plus b times x minus 1 and x plus 1 plus c times x minus 1. So to isolate a, we're going to let x equal 1. So we'll have five ones plus five ones plus two, so 12, equals a times one plus one squared. So 12 equals four a, a is three. To isolate c, we'll let x equal negative one. So we'll have five times negative one squared plus five negative ones, plus two. A will go, B will go, so we'll be left with C times negative one minus one. So here we've got five, take away five plus two, which is two, equals minus two C. So C is negative one. Then to find B, we're gonna let X equal zero. So let x equal 0. So we'll have 2 on the left side equals a times 1 squared plus b times negative 1 times 1 and c times negative 1. So that is 2 equals 3 minus b plus 1. 2 equals 4 minus b, so minus 2, negative 2, equals negative b, so b is 2. So that means that we've got 3 over x minus 1, plus 2 over x plus 1, minus 1 over x plus 1 squared. And there's our answer.